In the fast-paced world of modern warfare, air defense systems play a pivotal role in safeguarding nations from aerial threats. As technology advances, so does the sophistication and power of these defense systems. Two such systems have emerged as leaders in this high-stakes arena. The principal anti-air missile system, also known as PAMS, from France, and the Akash Air Defense System from India. Each system has been meticulously designed and engineered to meet the unique defense needs of their respective nations. The French PAMS, equipped with Aster missiles and the state-of-the-art Arabel multifunction radar, showcases the might of European military technology. On the other hand, the Akash system, an indigenous Indian development, demonstrates the strides made by the nation in self-reliant defense technology. Both systems, while sharing a common mission of protecting their nations, exhibit distinct design philosophies and operational capabilities. Now, we dive into the technical intricacies of these two formidable air defense systems. The principal anti-air missile system, or PAMS, is a marvel of French engineering. This missile system is a testament to the power and sophistication of France's defense technology. It uses two types of missiles, the Aster 15 and Aster 30, designed to intercept aerial targets at ranges of up to 100 and 120 kilometers, respectively. This long-range capability gives PAMS a significant edge in protecting vast territories from aerial threats. PAMS employs the Arabel Multifunction Radar, a cutting-edge piece of technology that provides three-dimensional surveillance and tracking capabilities. This radar system is a game-changer, allowing for accurate tracking of multiple targets simultaneously and increasing the system's effectiveness in real-life combat situations. The heart of PAMS lies in its centralized command and control system. This system integrates seamlessly with other air defense systems, creating a unified and effective defense network. It ensures that all elements of the air defense system are working together, maximizing the system's potential to neutralize threats. Mobility is another strength of PAMS. The system is mounted on a wheeled chassis, allowing for rapid deployment and redeployment. This mobility makes PAMS a flexible and versatile tool in the hands of the defense forces capable of responding quickly to changing threat environments. Interoperability is a key feature of PAMS. It is designed to work seamlessly with other NATO air defense systems. This ability to integrate with different systems enhances the overall effectiveness of the NATO air defense network, making PAMS a valuable asset in the collective defense of the NATO alliance. Despite its strengths, PAMS is not without its weaknesses. The system is expensive to build and maintain, making it a less cost-effective option for countries with tight defense budgets. Moreover, its reliance on a centralized command and control system, while advantageous in some situations, can also be a vulnerability if the central command is compromised. With its advanced capabilities, PAMS stands as a formidable force in air defense. But how does it compare to India's Akash system? On the other side, we have Akash, an indigenous system developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization. Let's dive into the technical details of this homegrown marvel. The Akash system relies on surface-to-air missiles designed to cover a range of up to 25 kilometers and reach an altitude of 18 kilometers. While not as extensive as PAMs, this range still offers a robust coverage for vital installations and strategic locations. The Akash system employs a unique phased array radar. This advanced 3D surveillance and tracking system enables the missile to lock onto its target with remarkable precision. Although the Arabel radar used by PAMs is considered more advanced, Akash's radar system is nothing to be underestimated. Command and control in Akash differ from PAMs. Where PAMS operates on a centralized system, Akash thrives on decentralization. Each battery operates independently, providing flexibility and adaptability in varied terrains and operational scenarios. This approach reflects a different design philosophy, one that values autonomy and localized decision-making. Mobility is a crucial feature of any modern air defense system, and Akash is no exception. It's mounted on a wheeled chassis, allowing for swift deployment and redeployment. 
Although PAMS is designed for even quicker mobilization, Akash offers substantial mobility to meet the operational requirements of the Indian Armed Forces. One of the standout features of Akash is its indigenous development. Born from the expertise of India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, Akash is a testament to the country's strides in defence technology. This homegrown system is not only a source of national pride, but also a cost-effective solution for India's defence needs. However, like any system, Akash has its limitations. Its range is significantly less than PIAMS, and its radar, while advanced, may not match the Arabelle's capabilities. But these factors need to be viewed in the context of Akash's operational requirements and design philosophy. Akash, with its unique features, holds its own in the world of air defense. But how do these two systems stack up against each other? When PAMS and Akash are compared side by side, interesting contrasts and comparisons emerge. Let's dive into the specifics, shall we? On the range front, PAMS takes the lead with its Aster-15 and Aster-30 missiles capable of intercepting targets at distances up to 120 kilometers. Akash, on the other hand, has a respectable range of 25 kilometers. In terms of mobility, both systems are quite agile, thanks to their wheeled chassis that allow for rapid deployment and redeployment. However, PAMS is specifically designed for even swifter movement, giving it an edge in this category. When we examine radar capabilities, both systems boast advanced 3D surveillance and tracking. Yet the Arabelle radar used by PAMs is often considered more advanced, providing it with superior tracking capabilities. Interoperability is another key factor. While PAMs is designed to integrate seamlessly with other NATO air defense systems, Akash has a more independent operational design, being an indigenous Indian system. This difference reflects the unique defense philosophies of France and India. Finally, cost becomes a significant factor. Akash is generally seen as a more cost-effective option, providing formidable air defense capabilities at a lower price point. So, what can we deduce from this comparison? Both PAMs and Akash, with their distinct design philosophies and operational requirements, offer unique strengths and weaknesses. Each plays a crucial role in their respective nation's air defense, testifying to the diversity and complexity of modern air defense systems. So, we've explored the technical landscapes of both PAMs and Akash. We've seen the French PAMs with its longer range and advanced Arabelle radar. On the other hand, we've also delved into India's Akash, a cost-effective and autonomously operating defense system. Both are mobile, allowing for rapid deployment each reflecting their nation's strategic priorities. In the end, it's clear that both PAMs and Akash are integral parts of their nation's defenses, each with its own unique set of strengths and challenges. The battle of the skies continues.